Hey guys, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the MIC chat. Today we have a preview where Aloha Trader, one of our moderators, real name Austin, uh, talks about the uh, ATOS, Atos Supernova, that happened today. While this is just going to be a preview video, guys, if you want to watch the full-length video and any of our exclusive content, then become a member at My Investing Club. Hey everybody, Austin here, uh, back for another trade recap. Uh, this time I'm going to be going AT over ATOS. Uh, the hot chick of the day and before I do I want to say that I'm not licensed or registered I'm not a financial advisor and none of this should be taken as investment advice even if it sounds like it so yeah ATOS the um I was I was this this stock drove me mad today I was literally sitting on my computer at my computer with my finger on the button for multiple hours during the day just literally sitting there waiting for a trade on it with my finger on the button because I felt like it was going to happen at any time and so, man, like I, I, like my eyes hurt after today. I was just staring at the screen intently, just watching it trade, waiting for waiting for the entry. And then of course, I missed the really good one. But we'll go over it. Um, so, uh, I wanted to this. I wanted to show the open because this is where I first saw it at the open, just like everybody else. This is where I located shares when it popped up. Um, and you know, I I want to go over that like. ATOS is a known pig for me, and like it, the way it trades, it's definitely a pig. Uh, you can see from the chart, like it's 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 a known piggy. It just pop, pops and sells, and pops and sells, pops and sells, and degrades over time. But and that being said, like a lot of my longs have been on stocks like this, and like you know my mentality on a lot of these longs, I was willing to long it and short it. You know, I'm trying to get into the the flow of being able to short and long. You know and be a dynamic trader but um yeah so when we were here at this range i was still willing to long it but fast forward a couple minutes when this went from three to six pre-market i i'm pretty much done with the long you know and now i'm i'm really just hawking for the short and that was my mentality on the stock all day right, because i want like one thing that i'm really good at and i want to go over what i'm good at and and bad at at longs um one thing that I'm really like my niche for longs is capturing the recoveries. I'm I'm better at capturing the recoveries, the squeezers, the ones that come back, uh, not from the dead, uh, but the ones that come back from seemingly dead. But it's you know it, those the ones that have like that that volume that's still slowly creeping near the mid morning or the near the mid afternoon. Those are kind of my niche. The recoveries, buying something that. It was once thought to be done, but actually isn't. It was just really speculative guess for me. So right at the open, I did put on a little tiny starter trade, and I got immediately out of it. And you know, happily, ha happily so. Like if it wasn't gonna just die out of the open on 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 massive selling volume from bag holders or anything like that, I didn't want to be a part of it. So that trade was done. That thesis for this short was invalidated when it didn't tank out of the open. So I'm perfectly okay with taking that that stop. I don't feel angry. It was small size anyway. Um, it's very um, it's very important to understand when you're trading to figure out what's going to invalidate your thesis, so that way when you exit the trade, you don't regret it, crash it. And I missed the fill on this, but this is a very classic setup. Now this is the this is the the immediate rebound. This is almost this is the inverse of um, what the first bounce trade is on the long. This is the first pop on a short. The first short or the the first pop on a after a big downward move, there's a pop and there's typically a another attempt to break down lower. Whether it succeeds or not, I don't know. But for me, the trip for me, the trade is the first pop and and the consequential drop. It's just, it's just like on a first bounce when a stock soars up and dips, you buy the dip and you sell the rip. Now you don't know if that rip's going to keep going or not, but you can pretty much guess that that first bounce is going to, to rip well I was pretty confident that after this huge move at, you know on the pop everyone's gonna be you know longs are gonna be rushing to get out shorts are gonna be rushing to get in and people are gonna be chasing it down on the on the next leg and that's that was that trade this was the entire trade right here very classic setup you know if I only took that setup ever if that was the only short I ever took I'm sure I wouldn't get you know one every single day but it would be a lot stress you know like trading would be a lot stress free if I only traded the the first bounces and the first shorts hey traders this is Tosh I go by T Bradley 90 in the my investing club chat 
Just wanted to reach out and say, if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs and chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.